welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the debut of Nancy and Vincent, the new technology who will be part of the Westport Library's goal of demystifying the world of robotics. And of course providing quite a bit of opportunities for learning experiences for many. I'm Bill Derry, I'm the Assistant Director for Innovation and User Experience, and with me today is Alex Giannini, who is the Manager of Digital Experience. <laughs> Together we're going to share some of what we've learned about our new friends. Uh, CP3O and R2D2, they could not be with us to join their cousins today, unfortunately, but they are here in spirit so that they can help us celebrate Star Wars Reads Day at the library. So, before we go on, we have a big thank you. We have a big thank you to those who made it possible for us to have these two robots today. The Vincent Coates Foundation provided the lead gift with supporting gifts from the Nancy Jones Beard Foundation and Cindy and David Eigen. So we want to thank them very much. Now, Alex is going to tell you more about our two new members of our library family, Vincent and Nancy. Hey everybody, um, I'm sure you've seen these guys in the press, they've been kind of media darlings the last few weeks, but I'm really thrilled to formally introduce you all to Nancy, who's in blue, and Vincent, who's in red, and they are two now NAO Evolution robots from the French company Aldebaran. Um, they do lots of things, and one of the coolest things that they do is respond to vocal commands. So I'm going to give them a couple of vocal commands now and uh, let Nancy talk to you guys. All right, Nancy. What day is it? Today is Saturday, October the 11th. What time is it? It is 11.34. How tall are you? How tall are you? I'm 58 centimeters tall. How much do you weigh? Around three. Okay, how much do you really weigh? How much do you weigh? I weigh about five kilograms. That's better. <laughs> What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? My main color is white. I hope you like it. Do you like animals? I like cats. One day I'll teach them to clean their litter box. <laughs> Can you sit down? Sit down. Do you want me to sit? Yes. Okay, give me a second. <gasps> Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Do you want me to stand up? Yes. All right. Here I am. Nancy and Vincent do a lot of different things, they have to have some built-in protection measures, and one of the coolest things that they have is a fall sensor. So these guys know when they're going to fall, and they brace themselves for the fall, and they protect the hardware. So I'm going to show you what happens when Nancy knows she's about to fall down. Sorry, Nancy. It's alright, she's going to get back up. Good job, Nancy. So, uh, 
voice recognition and voice command is just one way to control these guys. Uh, Bill will show you another way, which is a little bit deeper and I think uh, has a lot more possibilities. So, Bill. <laughs> so, we're going to be having uh, workshops. You can animate the robots in two different ways. You can animate them, as you just saw with um, Alex, giving them voice commands, right? But there is another way, and this is where, if you come to workshops, we are going to provide uh, different lessons on how to use Choreograph. Choreograph is the software that comes with the robots. So you can see up here in Choreograph that I have four boxes. Over here I have my content, and over here I can see what the robot sees. He's looking out right now, and he's looking straight out, front row, there you are. And I have a virtual robot who I can control. If I don't have my robot, I can actually write a program and have it go through a virtual robot so I don't have to have the robot to make things work. Now, there is this wonderful, there's a tool that has a little toolbox with all different things that we can pull out to get it to actually move. So I'm going to pull out one of the things I made already. You can see that it looks, it, it actually is a beautiful software that has boxes and you connect it with lines to make it flow. Choreograph is like dancing. So you're actually animating this robot almost like you would an iMovie or any kind of movie making program. Frame by frame by frame. So in this save box that I just pulled out, I put in, I can write in anything I want. Uh, let's start with, hi, welcome to Star Wars reading day at the library. And then I just send it to the robot. Welcome to Star Wars reading day at the Westport library. <coughs> so making them talk is, can be easy. It can also be much more complex because you can add human voices by adding an MP3 or an audio file in there instead. But let's look at what else you can do. You see this line that I told you I drew, I'm going to get rid of that line, and I'm going to put a new line into a program that I created that says, let, let me have him sit down first. There we go. So you can see, you're going to watch a little color go through that wire, connecting to stand up. It will then stand up. Then, here's another little wire that goes to hello, and then there's another one that goes to say. So it's combining a block that has it wave its hand, like it's saying hello, and then whatever I write in this box, and I'll look at what I wrote in this box. Hello, I hope you're reading many Star Wars books today. And then it ends. You ready? Okay. It's going to click the send box at top. Save it. Standing up. I hope you are reading many Star Wars books today. So it's a sequence of programs that you make it do, and you put it in the order that you want it. Now, what about those people who come today who are programmers? This is not, this is a very complicated robot. It has levels. So for those of you that are really interested in going uh, to new planes, to new areas, it's run on Python. So if I click, on any of these boxes, and I'm not going to, but I think all of us can recognize code that we don't understand when we see it. And so Python will be a higher level program for those that are interested in programming the robots from scratch. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be posting the schedule for opportunities to learn about robotics this week. By the end of the week, you'll see a schedule. If you click on the day, you can actually re reserve a spot to take a workshop. We're going to do 10 people at a time. There's also going to be directions on there um, about what you need to do. Because most people, if you really want to make this uh, go further, you want to bring a laptop and you want to have choreograph on your laptop. And we're going to give directions on how to load it onto your laptop. Um, if we're going to do this for eight and above, but if a parent wants to work with a child under eight, then you'd be counted as one person in the workshop. Hey, back away. Nancy.
Tai Chi. I am really proud of this dance. Um, I found it. Oh, are actually trying to play in the software. that Vincent is ready to dance, even with the wires in the back. Let's see if he's ready to, to show off one of his dances. start our workshop series we're going to have some competitions and people are going to be able to design their own dances put in their own mp3 files get it to do what they want it to do we're going to do short stories we're going to do poems and at the mini maker fair on april 25th i'm sure you've been all of you have been to a mini maker fair right if not the next one and mark is in the back mark Mathias is a co-chair of the mini maker fair and it is going to happen on Saturday, April 25th, and we hope that the robots are going to be able to really, by then, have learned a lot from you, because you're going to be their teachers. So they will learn and they will perform what our community has programmed and made them able to do. Vincent would like to express his love of all things Star Wars. As you will see, he is a big fan. I'm just going to take a seat while he does his thing. Take it away. Vincent and your Star Wars story. Star Wars story? Just a second. Let's see. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> the galaxy is living in dark times again. <laughs> But tonight is coming to save the galaxy. <laughs> they want the inner being with bravery. Finally, the enemy was defeated. And peace settled again. Don't forget the cardboard challenge. I hope you enjoyed the robots. May the forest be with you.